Hi everybody, it's Giddy Parade, and today I finally have my Shriek Wrecked Gil Weber and my Laguna Blue. I've been waiting for these two to complete my collection, although I do hear there is a Goliope in the Shriek Wrecked line, and I have no idea when she's coming out. I'm gonna start off with Laguna. Miss Laguna here does come with her pet fish, and of course this is all a nautical shipwrecked, shriek wrecked type of uh, theme. And here it says she is the daughter of the sea monster. And there she is with her pet fish. Looking pretty vicious. She's got a pretty awesome outfit. Those giant pigtails are crazy. I can't wait to see what those are gonna look like out of the box. And then on the back, it's got a nice beautiful picture of her and a funny little blurb about the nautical ghouls. And it does show Draculaura and Rochelle there, who again, I do have that video. You can click on that and see that. All right, let's get her out. Okay, and those who haven't seen it, there is this cool little looks on board a ship picture here <laughs> with the ropes in the shape of a spider web, little ghouly eyes hiding in here, gold coins, and some ominous looking sharks perhaps in the water there. All right, look at her. I just initially, of course, am loving the really long pigtails, long hair. She's got blonde hair with blue streaks in it and a nice part down the back. And these are pretty long, so I imagine if you wanted to take her pigtails out, she's probably got some pretty long hair. She has this very pretty little hair headband on that has a wheel and some coral on it. And she has earrings, yay, with some nautical stars on it. I like those, in fact, I would like a pair of those, please. And she's got green eyebrows. Oh, I like her little scarf tied around her neck here. And she has kind of little suspenders that are attached to her belt and those can snap off in the back here. And I adore her outfit. Her She has kind of culottes. They're kind of loosey-goosey shorts. They almost look like a skirt or a skort, but they're shorts and it looks like a one piece. In fact, let's just, I'm just gonna take this kind of off for a minute just to see if it's a one piece. Oh, it's not. No, it's a high-waisted skort shorts thing. That is really cute. And then I love the details of the black piping on there and then her separate little striped uh, quarter length sleeve shirt, which I love. I, I love this whole outfit actually. <laughs> it is adorbs. Okay, I'm snapping that back on and let's go down to the shoes. Look at those. These remind me of a ship. They kind of remind me of the decoration in the front and back of the ships. And then there are those nautical stars. These are huge too. They almost look like they're too big for her. They're just ginormous. And then her cute striped socks. She has her little fins back here and she does have texture on her leg here. If you can see, she's got some scales coming out of there and she's fully articulated. Her knees bend, her elbows bend, and she also has fins on her forearm here and her hands are black to look like she's got some gloves on. Cannot forget her handbag, look at that. Really goes nicely with the swirls on her shoes. And it is functional, it opens, so you could slip her eye coffin in there or whatever she might want. See if we can get her hands through here. Loving it. Okay, let's get a look at her pet. And this is identical to her original pet that came out when she first came out. But when that came out, it had a little fishbowl purse that came with it. That was so cute. This could go inside and she could carry the fishbowl around. And obviously the fishbowl is not included, but I do love that there's even a pet because we don't see a lot of pets anymore. Look at the teeth. <laughs> really cute. Okay, I'm gonna put her aside while we get a look at Gil. 
Oh my gosh, this gill took forever to find. Are you guys having trouble finding this gill? I thought it was crazy. Please let me know if you were able to find him and if you weren't and if you're still looking. I feel for you. I hope you find him soon. He is so cool. He is in a slimmer box, so he was a little bit less money, but much harder to find. I love how he's got this mask on and it has kind of a pirate eye patch on it. And he's got a pretty colorful little tank, some shorts, some cool loafers there, and a really cool looking bag, little sack, backpack sack looking thing. Now, the other sets were called Nautical Ghouls, and these slim box ones are called Shriek Mates. And there he is looking handsome in his little picture there and little blurb, pretty similar. All right, let's get him out. Now you'll notice neither one of these dolls came with doll stands. Luckily, I have a lot of doll stands um, left over from my other dolls. So I'll be able to put them in a stand, but I miss doll stands. I want to know what do you guys think? Do you like doll stands? Do you miss them or could you not care less? Okay, this is so funky. Look at that. <laughs> it snaps in the back or it almost looks like it buckles. And then there he is. That is so funny. I really like that. And then he's got this awesome necklace on. And this tank, I just love the vibrant colors. And some long shorts with some fish bones on them. And some good looking loafers there. Kind of aqua green with a silver accent. Now he does not have uh, little scales like Laguna, but he does have his little fins on the back of his legs here. He has little fins here on his forearms and then his hand fingers are webbed but not clear and I'm gonna get out my other an earlier gill to show what his hands used to look like I do love this cuff bracelet he's got here with a little hook hanging down on the side that's pretty good looking he's fully articulated I love that his elbows move his knees move I am going to go ahead and take this off it's awesome but I want to see what he looks like next to my earlier this is my first of the G2 dolls of Gil that I've ever seen so I'm really kind of excited to compare him he looks pretty much the same to me so far so I don't know we'll have to get a better look I've always loved his little mohawk how he has scales on the side and then it almost looks like a wave crashing over I just think that's such a clever clever design really cool and of course he's got no ears <laughs> Because he's Gil. All right, let me pull out. Oh, let's get a look at his bag. This is a good looking bag. It's substantial. You can fit some stuff in there. I wonder if his goggles, or I should say his mask, fits in there. Nope, nope. But you could fit something in there. Who knows what? Okay, so here is new Gil. Here's old Gil. I don't know, you know how sometimes things are exactly the same but they look different because paint's different? To me, it almost looks like the older Gil has a bigger head. Is that possible? And his eyes look a little more set apart than his. I thought the doll heads were supposed to be, yeah, look, I think the head is, is bigger, the older doll. Hmm. That's so bizarre. I like it, but you know what? I love this gill. I love that he's not too far different than the old gill we knew because I love gill and I love Monster High and I love the classics, of course. Looks like the little neck fins that they have are exactly the same. And the leg fins look pretty much exactly the same. However, I'm noticing right off that the hands on the new guy are opaque, meaning you can't see through it, and the old guy, they're clear. Now that I'm saying that, I remember Laguna used to have webbed fingers, and I don't think this Laguna has webbed fingers because she has gloves on, so I'm gonna bring her back here in a minute. Oh, and his ankles are articulated, which are cool. Like that about the boy dolls. 
So let's see, I'm gonna put Shriek Wrecked Gill on a doll stand here. And we, I'm gonna line up my whole Shriek Wrecked lineup here, except for the Goliope. As I said, I have not seen her. If anybody knows what's going on with the Shriek Wrecked Goliope and if that's in fact really gonna happen, let me know if you've heard anything. There's that. Okay, yes. See, no webbed fingers. Hmm, what's going on? Okay. Old doll stand. I'm so glad I have these because I really like to display my dolls and standing them up is just the easiest way to do. Okay, we've got Gil and Laguna. And for previous videos, we have Draculaura, Claudine, Rochelle, who she might be my favorite, um, Katrin, and Dana Treasurer Jones, who is my least favorite. Okay, let's put her over, over, over. That's a good looking lineup. We just need Goliope now. Yeah. All right, guys, well, let me know which one is your favorite, what you think of the new uh, Gill, and if you've heard anything about Goliope. Okay, everybody, be sure to subscribe for future videos, and bye for now.